Hey, what's up high levelers? In today's video, we're gonna learn how to copy a workflow from one sub account to another one in Go High Level. So for this demonstration, I'm gonna use this example. This is one of the workflows that I created for one of my clients in the healthcare space. Now, as you can see, it's pretty extensive and it required a lot of time and effort initially. So I would not want to create it from scratch in another sub account, you know, again. So I want to transfer this to another sub account we have. So this is our main sub account and I want to shift it to another sub account because we are trying to roll out a new product line in the healthcare space and we want to use this as a template so what we're going to do is copy this over and then customize a few things there which will help us save a massive amount of time so what i'm going to do is go back to the workflows here then i'm going to click on the three dots right next to the workflow here and you will see a copy to sub account option right here so all you have to do is click on that and then you will select the sub account right here i'm going to move it to this one and once I've selected the option, all I have to do is submit and it will be moved over in a few seconds. Now, if I go to the sub account where I copied this to, so you can see that it is drafted right here. And if I open this right now, we should have everything intact. So you can see that it has got everything that we needed. Now it will save me a massive amount of time. I can customize it right here. And in a similar way, if you work in a marketing space or maybe if you're working in different niches, let's say healthcare, and you build these complex workflows and then you wanna copy them over, this is pretty straightforward to do. Now, a key thing before you copy over workflows, I'm going to show these seven elements on the screen here. These are the only seven things that will be moved over. So if they did not exist in the second sub account where you're moving this workflow to, they will be automatically created. But anything except for these seven for now will not be moved over. So you might have to redo them in the other sub account or things that we use in workflows. In all honesty, I think these seven should be enough to cover a lot of the stuff we do in workflows. So we should be able to save more time and energy using this copy action straight away. All right, so that was all about this video. I hope you found some value in this. If you have any questions, feel free to put them in the comments below and we will get back to you.